Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know this is not a skincare channel, this is a makeup channel but I still really wanted to share to you guys my thoughts of their products because I have been using them for 2 months. I waited a little longer because skincare takes a while. I have very very dry, sensitive, acne prone skin so I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts of the uh, touch up products but first things first make sure that you are subscribed to my channel click the bell to be notified every time i upload my videos now let's go get started so i purchased this set on qvc 475 maybe lesser than that maybe lesser than that and if i were going to buy them and the it would cost me five hundred dollars and mm, that's a lot of money i know tatcha is a very very expensive brand the first product that I tried out from them was their Cell Combust Primer and I really love that one. I haven't repurchased that one and then I purchased their Tinted Eye Cream. At first I really love it but after a while I just didn't really care for it. It was just a waste of money to be honest. So um, when I saw a good deal on QVC, I immediately repurchased it because I missed out on their deal last year. I believe they only do the set every year so okay yeah that's why I usually um we um purchased this set i purchased this set i think almost two months ago i think so i mean it's been a while and it's still hot it's just crazy i saw all right guys so i have very very dry crusty skin i mean my skin even it's hot right now like 89 i still have dry skin and very sensitive acne prone skin so i can only you know wash my face at night once a day that's it because if i wash my face twice a day i break up so I'm very very and also very very careful with the products I use on my face. The last time, excuse me, the last time that I did a skincare review was I think three years ago was the uh, uh, the ordinary products. I still have their products. I have been using them for three years except for the um cleansing solution. I stopped using that one because I just didn't see anything like big difference under my eyes. So I stopped using that one and then. I've been using the Al Herxen since I did like a Sephora haul. So I really, really like this one. It's a hydrating, lightweight, but same hydrating. I think it helps with my, you know, a little bit of my dark circles because I love to have, I have a lot of dark circles and veins under my eyes. So I already washed my face. I uh, use the Gentle Bubble Cleanser from Glam Glow. This is a gel cleanser, not a great cleanser for dry skin. So I prefer cream cleansers because cream cleansers are really hydrating. If you have dry skin, cream cleansers are really hydrating for you guys. Um, and they're not drying. So gel cleansers are really good for oily or combination skin. So this is a gel cleanser. It's very drying. I know. I don't know why I keep using this one, but I just... I don't want to waste my money. I received this one um, from my boxy charm, so uh, I know I'm still using this one. Always very trying, so I'm, I'm trying to finish this off, and then I'm going to use my gel cleanser. So next, um, the first product is the Essence Plumping Skin Softener. So this one has 150 ml or 5.1 fluid ounces. So I'm going to read. Um, what it does a daily anti-aging essential to prep the skin with hydration softening the appearance of fine lines wrinkles for smooth looking skin i have i don't have wrinkles i mean not yet i don't have i don't have wrinkles but i have very very dry skin I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on the face because i used to live in the philippines and at that time i didn't know anything about sunblocks and sunscreen so that's why i have a lot of hyperpigmentation because of the sun so I also have a lot of dark circles and veins under my eyes. So after two weeks, I literally saw big difference on my face. Made my face really brighter, extra brighter and not dull looking. So I'm very, very, very impressed with the uh, essence, guys. The la I mean, the first essence that I used was the uh, Misha one. It was good, but this one even better, guys. Even better. I highly recommend. If I were to choose, I would choose this one from all the all of the products. I would choose this one because oh my goodness guys like two weeks two weeks after two weeks i should say um i immediately saw a big 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 difference on my skin i mean i don't have textured skin that just made my face you know after two weeks made my face really really smoother brighter and not dull looking so i'm really 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 impressed with this one if you're going to buy this one i think 110 maybe 98 dollars i'm going to write the prices somewhere here on the screen because i don't remember the prices of the uh, products but i purchased this set so it was cheaper so this one's really good the um the bottle is made of like 
glass like a glass plastic product it's not cheap it is it feels really nice and expensive so i'm really happy with this one it doesn't smell anything at all so you do not really need a with two or three drops that's all you need guys with this one because this is amazing for dry skin all right so um the ingredients oh my goodness the greens are hard to read so i'm just going to um link their website down there so you could read the ingredients guys because they are really hard to read and they are hard to pronounce so then um i have been using the ordinary products i used all the products together with the ordinary so these are the only ordinary products the only bad thing sorry the only bad thing about this one guys um i cannot really use this one with my other exfoliating products like the honey glow foam pharmacy this one's really really nice very hydrating just so nice it's a really really nice chemical exfoliating product and then also the lactic acid from the ordinary i cannot really use like chemical peeling products with the essence because um just makes my face really red and um irritating so, okay so next um next one um next one is the uh hyaluronic acid from ordinary i love this one if you have dry skin guys i highly recommend this one this out from the ordinary hyaluronic acid two percent plus v5 i have been using all their products for three years and i highly recommend them what their, their products sorry and then next i use the buffet multi-technology peptide serum they also have the other one which is a peptide um with peptide but that one it's a little bit more expensive so this one only i think this one only retails for 12 dollars that one's like 20 but still you know cheaper after all the products from the ordinary uh use the uh, ageless enriching renewal cream so i had uh, this one has 55 ml or 1.86 fluid ounces a hydrating facial moisturizer made with puny and gardenia fruit extracts and containing hardy c3 i don't know what is that complex of rice bran extra red algae and green tea so this one smells amazing smells like their salt combat primer and you do not really need a lot with this one just up you know apply three dots on your face and your both of your cheeks and that's it guys you do not really end up with this one because this is very potent and very hydrating i think the best um a cream that i have tried so far so i really really prefer this one more than my um it cosmetics one and also the uh LMS which I got for I think both products that I got for my boxy charm I still prefer this one from Tatcha because this one's amazing and then um, the only product that I haven't used from the set is this one the eye cream because I am still using the L Herrickson <coughs> I just want to finish this off first and then use the Tatcha one but I really like this um, L Herrickson eye cream i think it helps with my dark circles a little bit it's hydrating but not too heavy on the under eyes so i really like this one i haven't used the eye cream from tatcha so i'm definitely going to tell you guys um on my future video so next um is there and then next one is their ageless revitalizing neck cream this antioxidant rich cream hydrates smooths and nourishes the delicate skin on the neck and decolletage so this one i think the most expensive product from this set i think 110 maybe i'm not really sure about it i think this is the most expensive product from this set so with this one guys i only you know apply this one on my neck and a little thicker almost like the same consistency as the salt combust primer and the smell too a little bit more stronger than the face cream and this one makes my neck look really really smoother and i think i noticed like i don't know maybe it's just my head but it makes my neck look really really you know smoother brighter i don't know what do you guys think but i think so but overall guys i if you were to ask me i would not buy this one again i mean because the face cream itself works as good as this one in my opinion so yeah this is really really expensive but this is like the least my least favorite product because expensive and it works as the same as the face cream in my opinion 
Alright, so the last product, yeah, yeah, that was the last one. So from the set, um, the only the set only had four items, so like hundred and seventy five dollars and maybe lesser than that. So yeah, I mean that's a really, I mean it was a really 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 great um set. So I highly recommend guys if we offer like I said maybe next year, I highly recommend to try out their products. I have been wanting to try out their rice polish because I've been hearing me so many good things about their rice polish products. I think they have four different types for sensitive skin, for jersey, I don't know. I don't remember but they, they have like four different types. So those are all the products that I purchased from the ordinary and after all the products guys i always always use the mario Redasco facial spray because this one's amazing it smells really good you see my skin looks really a little bit dewy but not you know like very very wet like wet looking so i really like this one and then for the uh makeup remover i use this one bioderma which i received um which i received from my order um, I think it was from the uh, Beautylish, yeah, Beautylish, because I purchased their, I think it was Jeffree Star products and this one, so they gave me this one, and this was really, really good, the Bioderma. Um, another great one from the drugstore is the, um, I don't remember the name, but I'm going to post like a picture of the product. I really like that one too. Similar to this one, the Bioderma, this smells good too. So those are all the products that i purchased from qbc um i know these are not very very new they're not exactly new but they're new to me so i mean i cannot wait to try some of their products when i have money because <laughs> they are really really pricey and i cannot really afford everything okay so i mean next week guys i'll be doing color pop um, video i purchased their orange glad palette and some of their new products so i'll be doing um Haul, a color pop haul never done a color pop haul video so we're doing a color pop haul plus try on so I mean watch on the video next week I'm still waiting for them to ship out my order alright so I mean th those are all the products let me know if you tried any of their products and this would be the end of my video please don't forget to subscribe on my channel if you have it already give this video a thumbs up and hope to see you all on my next one bye bye